Hey guys, it's Miss T Lovely. I'm coming at you to update my video and answer some common um, questions asked about what you need for realized band surgery and the ins and outs about surgery and um, what the process is like. Um, I get these questions a lot and I wanted to go ahead and answer them all uh, here. So first uh, question is, how do I stop um, drinking water before and after meals? Well, for me, it came naturally. You know, I just know that they say that if you drink water, it washes the food away with the band because the purpose of the band is to keep you full for a longer period of time. Whereas if you drink water before the 30 minute um, time interval, it will wash the food away. That is what's said. Um, some people differ in their opinion, but this is what the most book, books say. So um, you're supposed to stop drinking. I drink it. I stop drinking my water right before I eat, just right before. Like I'll drink up to the time I eat, and then I'll not drink for 30 minutes. This might it, it, it's hard, it seems harder than what it really is. It's really not that difficult, guys. Just to not drink water after you eat for 30 minutes. How you can practice it is don't bring liquids to the table when you sit down to eat. Um, simply let your, you know, eat your food and grab a book or get on the computer or do whatever you're doing um, for those 30 minutes. 30 minutes actually flies by pretty quick. Now, some doctors and some people will even say that they wait an hour. Um, for me, it's 30 minutes. Another question I asked is, um, what's it like after surgery? What's the pain like? Is it so bad? No, it's not supposed to be. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I had... A, um, bad experience with being allergic to morphine so that's the only reason why I had a uh, severe pain and um, blood pressure dropped and my life was actually in danger because of this incident um, but that's further back in my videos but otherwise you're only supposed to have some gas a little bit of gas and what will alleviate that is you walking around a lot you know they will have you walk around the, um, your floor a few times and as you walk 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 you'll find that the gas pains begin to alleviate um, but if you have worse pains than that there's a problem notify the nurse or somebody make them listen to you because I find that with the whole process even with the process of approval you will find that people don't do their jobs. I don't know what it is, it's like they sent out a mass email, let's not get this person to prove, let's make their process longer than what it has to be. <laughs> because, you know, even I dealt with, um, you know, having to make sure the insurance company is pushing the papers and the approval, making sure the other people on their end is getting it, and the people who are doing the surgery, all that. You have to stay on top of people. So that's another thing. Um, as far as what you need for surgery, I'll update. If I can think of any other questions, I'll definitely um, pop it on in here um, or even put them in the description box. But what supplements should you have on hand straight out of surgery? Now, don't worry about, especially the first couple days, please don't worry about drinking all the water in the world and getting all your protein in because you will be sore for the first couple days. Your, your focus more than likely will be liquids depending on what surgery you've had. Um, if you've had lap band, it will probably be three days to a week. Um, maybe more for some people. You know, for gastric, you might have two weeks. Um, and it may differ. Like I said, you know, um, everybody's doctors, surgeons are different. And uh, these are the things that I've gotten and I remember according to my knowledge and my research and the information given to me. Um, so, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a good calcium supplement with vitamin D. So I take Viactive. It's um, it's uh, calcium with 500 IU of uh, vitamin D. Um, there's 100 soft cheese. I do two of these a day, two to three of these, two to three of these a day. Um, you're going to need a fiber supplement. I use the fiber gummies. I have these from CVS. These are like my backups to my. Ooh, <laughs> these are my backups to my other ones that I have here. You can simply buy them. Now the, these are chewable. Chewable ones are known to be uh, more dissolvable. And you know I could have easily switched over to pills because I can now swallow pills being 
uh, 40 plus weeks out but I prefer the chewable ones because they seem to the body seems to take them the well take to them better after surgery you know except for, especially for people that suffer from malabsorption the body's able to absorb the um, the gummy better than the the chalky you know tablets um, you're also going to need a good multivitamin now bariatricadvantage.com is a good site you know for bariatric surgery and that's the best supplement you will ever get um, that's my opinion but if you can't um, these are good as well I use these your life multivitamins by nature's bounty they're really really good I just take two a day um, I also take biotin you don't want to lose any of your hair you don't want to lose any of your hair so um, I take 1,000 micrograms of biotin a day. Okay, you're going to need a sub bilingual supplement. This is from um, bariatricadvantage.com but I got it off of Amazon and um, I only paid $8 for it and you only need one every week. So I take it every Monday. This lasts me about, about a month. Um, you're going to need a good digestive aid um, because you may suffer from blockage. I'm telling you right now, gas X does not work. A lot of people suffer from constipation. I didn't have that problem out of surgery. Um, but a, good, a suggestion is psyllium husk. I just started those and a word to the wise. Be careful with your doses on that. They suggest one uh, tablespoon. Um, but you want to work your way up to that. So you want to probably do a teaspoon. They're called psyllium husk. Okay, um, but I prefer to use tropical papaya enzymes. They break down your food just as well and they're just as helpful because like I said, I haven't had any problems out of surgery um, myself. And I also took it upon myself to buy a B complex. This is great for energy, overall energy. I take it every day, two a day. Um, I also personally suggest drinking peppermint tea that's going to help soothe and deal with the soreness that you're going to have after surgery you guys don't be afraid you know I remember how I felt I had so many worries and I had so many questions and um, there was no one there to answer the questions for me that's why I went and um, I found the answers myself and um, I you know any questions you guys have feel free to leave them below I hope this video has been a help um, I think I answered all the questions. Also, too, um, when you go to the hospital, it's good to have two people just in case something should happen. You know, you need somebody there to help you and you need people to be able to kind of change shifts, so to speak, because when I was in the hospital, my husband had to do it all by himself. And, you know, the poor guy, because I was in so much pain, you know, because of what happened to me with the medication. Um, if you're interested in that, um, what happened, and you haven't seen my video and you're new to me, I will put a link here. You can check it out. Um, oh yeah, when you come home, make sure you have a firm pillow to help you up and down. Um, you know, for a little while until that, you know, if you have some soreness until that subsides. Um, I hope this video was helpful and I hope it answers some of you pre oppers questions. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in, the in, in my personal inbox or leave them in the description box below and I will talk to you all later. Love you.